This is the third time I'm filming this video. Third time lucky. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the last video of 2015. Where has the time gone? I literally don't understand how it's already the end of 2015. Anyway, I've got my 2015 favourites for you guys today. I didn't do one of these last year, so I thought I would do one of these this year. And I've just got so much stuff to talk about. So I think I should just get onto it and make sure I don't ramble. First thing is a concealer, and it's the Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Eye. If you guys watch my videos frequently, you guys know how much I love this. This is my second bottle since August, and I've already almost gone through that. So I use it quite a bit. Um, although this... One sponge just got incredibly gunky. That is one thing that I do say about this product. The sponge gets incredibly gunky, which is okay, but I'm a bit of a hygiene freak, so it does kind of freak me out a bit that I'm putting this on my face. This is an amazing concealer. It is so easy to blend, and it is really good coverage. I love how it has a sponge applicator because you always get the right amount out. It's never like too much comes out or too little, and it's so easy to use. It's just amazing and it's at a quite a reasonable price point I think at about seven pounds from Boots so I absolutely love this moving on to a bronzer I have the NYX matte bronzer here um, this is in the shade 03 medium which I think is the third uh, lighter shade which is bizarre because I'm quite pale so usually I'll be the lighter shade in things but for some reason the medium suits me really well I originally did use this to contour when I first got it back in May but as time's gone on, I have realised it's too pale for me to contour and I've just used it to bronze. This is what it looks like. I have, you might not be able to see, but I've started to hit pan at the top of the product, which is really annoying. But I think they're only about four or five pounds, so it's really cheap for such a good product. I love NYX. I think if it's one brand of my favourite brand this year, it is NYX. And I have absolutely love this product to pieces. Next is the palette and it's the Naked Basics 2 palette. Mine is starting to look a bit dishevelled with um, the shades Venus naked to and faint looking very very close to hitting pan <laughs> i originally bought this back in june for my eyebrows mixing the shades naked to and faint together and then highlighting with the shade venus but it's also great for eyeshadow i've got on today foxy all over the lid and then naked to in the crease you can use this dark color at the end here crave to line your lips line your lips no don't do that to line your lips line your eyes and wos is also a beautiful shade so all in all this palette is absolutely amazing and for like a half the price of the naked palette um i really do recommend getting a basics over a big naked palette yes the big naked palettes are amazing and they've got so many beautiful shades but these are just such more versatile palettes and i just absolutely love this this year next i've got a highlighter and it is a highlighter that i've used every day since about july and it is mac soft and gentle it is this beautiful kind of like baked um glittery in the pan um it's got quite a deep pan actually which i was quite surprised about because usually i find mac products um are quite stingy on their pattern on the size of their pans <clears throat> this is amazing and you really don't need too much product because it is quite an intense glittery highlighter so all you need to do is swoop your brush across once or twice and that's it for your whole face by whole face i mean like nose <clears throat> not like all over your face it's amazing it is a bit chunky glittery but as long as you use the right amount it looks absolutely amazing and it gets your highlight on fleek it was tough between the merry luminizer and this one for which one to feature in my video but i did have to levitate to this one just because i probably use this more throughout the year next is probably my favorite product of 2015 it is the max prep and prime fix plus spray i got this back in august maybe even september i don't know what it does it just changes everything but i put it on before and after my makeup and it just makes everything look so much better and also i put it on my beauty blender which makes it blend much easier and on my eyeshadow brushes which makes the eyeshadow more pigmented i do really recommend recommend picking this up it is so worth the money and it will literally change your life moving on to lips i have actually got um kind of like a brand because i couldn't pick one and it is the nyx lip products i have the nyx soft matte lip cream in london which is this really creamy smooth um liquid lipstick which is matte and it's this really nice kind of dark nude color i featured this in my december favorite and i also have a nyx butter it looks like it's not open but it is it's just the plus plastic still on the bottom of the bottle but this is the butter gloss in maple blondie and their butter lipsticks are also amazing this one's in the shade uh snow cap which is this really pretty nude shade which i've used quite a bit and looks very dirty and also i love the shade hot tamale um if i ever feel like going for a red it will always be this red because it is just such a vibrant red but it doesn't come out as vibrant on your lips and you can really build it up these 
products are amazing, especially for the price. I think these two are like five and six pounds each, and these two are maybe four or five pounds. It's crazy how good the, the quality is for the product. And again, as I said, NYX was probably my favorite brand throughout the 2015 year. I still stick by it with these lip products. Honestly, I really recommend picking them up. And I know NYX isn't as easy to get hold of in the UK, but you can order from Boots. Um, they're on the Boots website uh, or Amazon, and they have them Sun Selfridges as well. My final makeup product is this bad boy. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in One Fair. Oh! Also, can we just talk about the packaging? Like, this wins Packaging of the Year Award. I absolutely love this powder to pieces. All throughout 2015, I've been looking for a powder which is good, doesn't kick up, doesn't have chunks of glycerin. I've just been looking for a good powder. Found this in August and it completely changed my life. I will never be going back to any powder, despite the price mark being £33 when buying it. It does break the bank a bit. But I think it's so worth it. 33 pounds is a lot, but it's actually lost me ages because I've had this since August and it's still not hit pan. I really do recommend this. And also all the Charlotte Tilbury products I've tried this year have been amazing. So Charlotte Tilbury is a brand, it's probably my favorite high-end brand of the year. Moving on to brushes, Zoeva. Zoeva are amazing. I found out about them this year and for my birthday in June, I got the rose gold set. These are just a few of them, my favorites. The powder brush is so soft and nice. The concealer buffer is great for buffering and concealer around your brows. And the pointed crease brush is amazing. The lovely ladies at Zoeva also sent me along the bamboo collection. I think this is volume two? I'm not sure. But they sent me these along back in August. I've been using this one to highlight, which is amazing, so soft. This one's also amazing. I love, love, love the eyeshadow brush. And this one is really similar to the Real Techniques Bold Metals one, but this is a lot softer and nicer. I just love Zoeva brushes so much and I really do recommend them. Although they might be 60 pounds for a set, you get eight brushes in a set and compared to Real Techniques, that is around about the same price point, maybe even a bit cheaper. My final beauty product is this disgustingly dirty. Oh, this is like a different color from when I bought it, but it is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I think that's what it's called. It's basically their take on the beauty blender. I use this flat top end here to um, buff in my foundation and the pointed end for under eye concealer. It is amazing. I'm going to put it down now just because it is so dirty and I can feel like old products starting to transfer to my hand. It blends in your foundation just so it's so smooth and flawless and I love that so much and it is just amazing and I think it's only about six or seven pounds which is quite cheap compared to the actual beauty blender and you can get them from pretty much any boot so I really do recommend picking that up. Moving on to TV shows, my first one is Pretty Little Liars. That show is amazing. Um, I did start to lose a bit of interest in it this year just because um, I find the episodes are starting to get a bit repetitive but nonetheless I am now so excited for series 7. I was a bit underwhelmed by the finale of series 6 but after seeing the poster and that end preview promo bit at the end of the series 6 finale I am so pumped. It's like 10 days now I think until it starts again. I'm like so excited. My second favourite TV show this year was Skins. Oh my god that show effed me up so bad. I'm like gonna start crying thinking about the show. I've genuinely got like tears in my eyes but it was just an amazing show. The series after one and two did get a little bit worse but no, it was just my oh my god. If you're looking for a show to watch and you want one on Netflix, just please, please, please go watch Six Skins. It is like a British drama about like a group of teenage friends and all their different problems and stuff. And it's just so amazing and captivating. My final TV show favorite, which is a bit different from the other two, is Geordie Shore. Um, the other two are TV shows that you have to really properly watch and get into the storyline. Whereas Geordie Shore is just like a show that I can put on in the background or something. I think there's been two new series this year, but that show is just so funny. If I'm ever in a bad mood, I'll just stick it on and it just makes me laugh so much much puts me in a good mood. I don't actually have any films this year just because I don't really tend to watch films anymore. I find like TV shows are a much easier thing to watch so I don't have any films to mention. I have a lot of artists so I'm just going to read out a list from my phone and then I might go into details about some of them. So my favourite artists of the year have been Justin Bieber, Drake, Chris Brown, Stormzy, Skepta, g Easy, Future, Nicki Minaj, Little Mix, Major Lazer, Selena Gomez, Alien, Uncovered and Chasing Status. <gasps> wow. I loved Drake's if you're reading this, it's too late. That was amazing. I loved Chris Brown's and Justin Bieber's new album that have just come out like a month or so ago. Little Mix's album. I'm not the biggest fan of the slow songs, but songs like Lightning and Growing and Hair. Oh my God, they are good. I really like them, which is quite bizarre because usually I'm more into like rap, hip hop, R&B. 
and this one makes you quite pop, but I don't know, I really like them. And of course, Nicki Minaj, even though she's not come up with too much this year, Miley What's Good, iconic moment of 2015, and also I'm still listening to Pink Print from last year, so. Moving on to YouTubers. My first one is Vanessa D. I feel like she does not get enough recognition. Her fashion sense is amazing and her editing is also really, really good. So I do recommend checking her out. I love her so much. Like her hair is also goals at the minute. I love her hair so much. But yes, I really love her channel. Two twins, Lucy and Lydia. Their videos are just so lovely and bubbly and happy and I can always trust everything that they talk about just because I can see that they really do love the stuff that they talk about. Honestly, their videos have been some of my favourites this year, especially their Get The Looks. The editing and the effort put into those videos are insane and the end product is just amazing. I've met the girls three times this year, Taylor Swift, Beautycon and Summer in the City and all three times they've just been as lovely as they are in their videos in person and I just love them so much. Next is Tasha Green. If there's one person I take fashion and beauty advice from, it's Tasha Green. She always looks so amazing and I just love her fashion sense. I don't know what it is about her, but it's something that I just completely am obsessed with. Next, I have Emily Canham and Jake Boys, um, otherwise known as Gemily. They've started daily vlogging this year and the effort that they've put into that is amazing. I can't wait to see them move into their new flat in the new year, which is very soon. I'm so excited to see it all. And they're such lovely people. I met them in somewhere in the city and they're really nice and the effort they put into their videos this year is amazing and you can really tell. I have my two favourite sisters, Sophie Clough and Jasmine Clough. <sighs> this was the year I was introduced to the sister girls. I love them so much. Their videos just make me happy every time I watch them. I don't know what it is about them. Jasmine's more into fashion and beauty, whereas Sophie's more the chatty side. They have two different YouTube channels, both will be linked down below. And I've just become so close with them this year and... Uh, Sophie's just started a YouTube channel like in the summer and Jazz's was started I think at the start of 2015 and they are just two of the sweetest people ever. You seriously need to check them out if you haven't checked them out already. They'll be linked down below. And my final YouTuber is Hava Rebke. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She was on the X Factor series this year and she got to judges houses. Um, but I've checked out her YouTube channel and oh my god her covers blow me away. My favourite on there are Love Yourself and... Uh, here by Alicia Cara. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If you really like singers with like distinct unique voices, you'll love Hava. I love her song singing songs, her singing so much, and I'm sure you will guys will too. Finally, I've got a bit of random favourites. The first one is Instagram. Instagram is my favourite at the end of every year. But nonetheless, this year I've had such an amazing year on Instagram. I've managed to rank up almost 25,000 followers, which is mind-blowing. Um, I've gone through so many different themes and I just love Instagram to look back through at the end of the year and look through all the memories you've had throughout the year. My final favourite is Diet Coke. I've actually got none on me right now but I could easily go into my bin and pull out about 9 or 10 cans. It's a bit random to feature in my favourites videos but I feel like the amount I've been drinking which is like 4 cans a day, it's like too much of an obsession for me not to feature it in a video so I kind of feel like I have to. And my final favourite is you guys for making this one of my best years ever. This year on YouTube has just been so amazing. I've done so many things that I never expected. I've gone from 4,000 subscribers at the start of the year to almost 40,000. I just don't understand. It's been the best year for YouTube. I've been able to attend events like Summer in the City and Beautycon and being able to meet you guys is just the best feeling in the world. Just actually being able to see the person who's sitting behind this computer screen now watching this video is it's just mind-blowing. That's the end of my 2015 on YouTube. Wow. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing 2015 and I'll see you guys in the new year. Bye.